In today's video, I'm going to show you guys three to five different Japanese NFT market projects that I think we should keep our eye on. These are coming directly from someone who's very invested and very much involved in the Japanese ecosystem. And so it really just helps me kind of vet certain projects and also helps me stay informed. I like this guy. I like following him. He has good information. He has good threads. And he knows a whole lot more about this ecosystem than I ever will. My private Discord has anywhere from five to 10 spots currently open for the month of December. So if you're looking to join a great community, very small community with some really cool stuff coming in January, you can check it out in the description below. Currently, we have membership perks happening right now. So depending on how long you've been a part of the group, you'll get access to a specific channel in the Discord where you'll be able to sign up for weekly and monthly ETH and NFT raffles, which is really cool because it's almost guaranteed money in a bear market. So if you're interested, you can sign up in the description below. So let's hop straight into this thread from the man and himself who I have heard nothing but good things about in the Japanese community. So he talks about in this thread a few NFT projects that we as an international community because he's getting a lot of questions since certain content creators like myself have started making videos about their ecosystem about certain projects we should keep our eye on and he highlights a few of them in this thread which we'll go through today. So he says he gets a lot of questions and he wants to introduce us to a few that he's personally paying attention to. So the first project is Live Like a Cat and and this looks like it's going to be a 22,000 NFT collection. And most likely the mint price will be that classic 0.0001 or 001 ETH mint price. So it'll be basically free. Obviously you have to pay gas fees as well, but it looks like he thinks this is a very promising project. He is also involved as an advisor. So Live Like a Cat looks like the first project on this list that we should keep an eye on. It looks like Live Like a Cat will come out on December 28th. So that is in, you know, 23 days or 24, 22 days, whenever this video gets released. So let's keep an eye on this one. I think it'll be interesting to see how some of these projects do um, in the Japanese ecosystem that a lot of international folks are starting to get their eyes on as we close out the year before 2023. Okay, so the next project on this man's list currently is Crypto Ninja Children. And once again, he is also involved as an advisor. It looks like this collection will be released on Christmas Day with profits going to support children's education, which is really cool. I just hope that they're very transparent about that process when the time comes to donate the money. It looks like the founder is this person right here with 14.5 thousand Twitter followers, is an excellent designer and has many followers. So keep an eye on this project as well, Crypto ninja children um, in terms of supply and mint price etc i'm not 100 percent sure but christmas day a lot of profits will go to potentially a good cause and for that reason on this list another project to keep an eye on all right the next collection and this is one that i've seen a couple people talk about but the mafia animals um, by the crypto ninja designers this man right here um, he also works in the gaming industry and will be introducing gaming elements into the pfp collection so the mafia animals i quite like the artwork It'll be interesting to see how this develops over the course of December and whenever it ends up minting and the mint price and the supply, etc. But that's definitely another one we should keep our eye on. The next collection on this current thread is a project called Cool Girl. And it's he thinks it's very exciting. He's also one of the shareholders of the company and will be engaged as an advisor. Okay, so his new work will integrate a lot of Japanese anime, manga, and also video game culture. So once again, just another project to keep your eye on. The one after that is the Ninja Atome. And I hope hopefully I'm not completely butchering that name. He says that is also worth mentioning. The Ninja Atome looks different in the morning and at night, which is interesting. I think that's a cool concept. I think another project did that as well. Uh, enjoy the artwork by the creative team that Japan probably brings to the table. Cool. And then he also does, I believe, a plug for one of the projects that he's directly involved with, which is Crypto Ninja Partners. I believe that they get allow list and whitelist for projects like this, and that's one of the main utilities behind their specific project. So I wanted to go over this list because I'm not super involved in the Japanese ecosystem and the NFTs and obviously I don't speak the language and it's hard for me to find projects but this man seems to be fairly trusted and respected obviously I don't know him personally so that could be false regardless make sure to do your own research on all of the projects I talked about in this video because whether this person talks about it or I talk about it or someone else at the end of the day you have to connect your wallet you have to spend the money you have to do whatever else so you need to make sure that before you do those things that you're checking volume to make sure that there's actually liquidity there you're making sure it's not a drainer so download something like pocket universe 
course, which I'll link in the description below, which automatically checks smart contracts to make sure it's not malicious. So there's a lot of cool things you can do as a consumer and as an active participant in the NFT ecosystem to make sure that you're not screwing yourself. So take it slow, take a look at these projects, find the ones that have a mint schedule, a mint time, a mint price, uh, artwork that you vibe with, and then make your decision from there. So the next thing I wanted to talk about in this video today is the GMI Marketplace Referral Program. And I'm going to show my link, which gives me nothing but extra potential tokens and a multiplier. You guys can do the exact same thing. I'll break that down right now. Okay, so this is the GMI Marketplace Referral Program. And how it works is essentially you can connect your wallet, which I have connected my wallet on two different wallets. And so far, so good. Nothing malicious has happened. Once again, do your own research on this stuff. But how it sounds like it'll work is you will share your unique referral link and then you'll get a 20% kind of like multiplier airdrop bonus. When a friend signs up for the airdrop, they'll receive an additional 20% bonus on their airdrop as well. After they use your referral bonus, you'll get 20% of their airdrop award, 10% of their trading fees after going to make it marketplace launches. So it's an interesting concept. Frankly, it's a little bit Ponzi, but to be honest, referral programs all have a little bit of Ponzi elements to them because they're just a really great way to pe for people to incentivize, spreading the word, using links, signing up, connecting wallets, etc. So the gonna make it marketplace is going to be a brand new NFT marketplace with potentially low fees and cool features, etc. I don't know too much about it. And I do know that there's going to be three to four marketplaces coming out potentially in Q1 of January. Um, so it'll be interesting to see the competition and where the market share goes and what liquidity ends up where and all the fees and creator royalties and all of that craziness. It'll be very interesting to see how that develops. But for now, this referral program is happening and you can start generating referrals and getting extra tokens and getting a multiplier and completing some of the airdrop like reward quests, etc. So check out my link in the description below. Once you use mine, then you can start referring other people with your link, etc, etc, etc. So right now we're on my private discords website and we're going to be continuously updating this and making it more useful for members. But at the moment, you can check out my current portfolio as a private member, which I'm showing you guys here today, which I try to update on a bi-weekly basis. And then I also make premium private videos for the group as well, where I discuss ongoing market trends, ask, answer questions, etc. But for this segment of the video, I wanted to go over my current portfolio and kind of discuss my thoughts around it just super briefly. Now, as you can see, I have a ton of the percentage of my overall portfolio in cash at the moment. And I think for me personally, that's just the place to be. I don't want to over leverage or have too much exposure to risk assets in a potential long form bear market. So currently, as you can see, I have 11.5% in NFTs, 0.6% in ETH because I need ETH to pay people and pay gas fees and transact and mint, etc. Then I also have some in Bitcoin, which I recently sold a chunk of and now have slowly started to dollar cost average back into. It also says 0.0% NASDAQ here because I ended up selling my stock portfolio. I want to say like a few days to a week ago, um, I was up pretty big on that. And I was like, okay, I'm okay with taking this capital gains tax here and securing that bag. So currently this is my portfolio. It's nothing crazy. It's a lot of cash. It's a few things in other places. The reason this, my NFT percent size is so high right now is not because I'm continuously adding to it, but because I have things like a mutant that I'm holding. I have, you know, five or six, my pet hooligans, you know, I have um, a coda from other deeds. Once again, Yuga. So those add up to be quite a bit in USD value, right? And this entire percentage is based off of USD value. So I think this is just an interesting segment of the video to give you guys a peek into my current thoughts of the market. And right now I'm playing it very defensive, playing it very cautious. Most of my money is just sitting in cash in high interest savings. So I'm getting a little bit of interest there and fighting off inflation just a little bit. So I'm really just waiting for the accumulation phase where I can start really dollar cost averaging pretty heavily and shrink this 87.6% to potentially like, you know, 40 and 50% and really start to grow my Ethereum and Bitcoin positions and potentially get into some blue chip NFTs. Um, and that's kind of my plan throughout 2023. I will evaluate my current positions. I will evaluate the current market and I will make sure I choose a path and a strategy that I can stick to. And that I think is sustainable, which is 
something I recommend all you guys to do. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share it everywhere, get some good information around about the Japanese ecosystem. I think it's a very interesting ecosystem to be a part of and potentially has a lot of opportunity to make a lot of money. Remember, guys, spots in my Discord for the month of December are currently open. You get access to this website, the private videos, the portfolio, the ETH and NFT raffles, the tons of whitelists, a small, very experienced group of Web3 investors. Once again, thank you guys, and I will see you guys in the very next video. Peace.